Welcome to the Jabra headquarters. We are in Copenhagen, Denmark, the world's capital of sound engineering. Follow me. Jabra is part of the GM Group, which was established nearly 150 years ago. Today, as back then, we engineer innovations in sound. We're the only company in the world with consumer, professional and medical grade audio expertise all under one roof. We work with purpose, creating intelligent audio solutions that enables you to hear more, do more and be more. From true wireless sports earbuds to noise cancelling office headsets and state of the art hearing aids, every product that GM produces is engineered with one purpose in mind to make life sound better. <laughs> Welcome to the GN Sound Lab. This is where sound takes form and where form meets function. In other words, you can say that this is where innovations come to life. Now making products with industry leading audio quality requires dedicated development as well as serious rigorous testing. Now come with me and let me show you how it works. For a company that specializes in sound, you can actually say that it's a bit odd that we house one of the quietest places on earth. Welcome to our anechoic chamber. In here, we have an environment that creates almost complete silence, making it the perfect testing ground for us to test the microphones that needs to be able to capture your voice and only your voice. Now, the wedge-shaped materials that you'll see on the walls, on the ceiling, and even in the floor beneath us, are designed to absorb background noise. And that makes us able to make sure that the microphone in here only picks up the sound from the source that we want it to. And once we're in here, you can actually, if you listen carefully, say that the only sounds that you can actually hear is the sound of your own pulse throbbing in your ear and the blood rushing through your veins. And yes, you can actually hear the blood flowing through your body. And that, you can say, is almost the sound of true and complete silence. Welcome to the listening room. This is the place where we replicate the sound properties of a typical living room. And that makes this environment great for testing out speakers and headsets in real life conditions. Our engineers do amazing things in here. And that includes artificially creating almost any sound environment that you can imagine. Cafeterias. Streets, offices, and even the sound of rumbling trains. In short, you can say that our engineers use this room to test unpredictable sound to create predictable headset results, ensuring that you get the best audio experience no matter where you may be. I know, it 
kind of looks like a torture chamber, doesn't it? But what we have here is actually what we call a radio frequency anechoic chamber. This is the place where we test our headsets and the wireless Bluetooth connection to mobile devices. And the way we do that is by bringing in a test dummy, equipping it with a headset, and then we spin it around and around and around to make sure that we maintain a strong audio connection. Sure, I'll admit it even sounds like a torture chamber, but I don't want you to feel too sorry about the dummies we put in here because the end result is going to be products with rock solid connectivity. Did you ever experience a bad Wi-Fi connection? Well, I guarantee you that that connection would be even worse inside this room. Right now we are in the radio frequency shielded test chamber where we completely seal from outside interference. That means we can actually fill this room to its maximum capacity with many different signals without having to worry about outside pollution. That allows us to perform what we like to call a density test. And in a test like this, we want to simulate a big open office environment where we can evaluate the performance of our headsets when we have many units active simultaneously, as well as having many Wi-Fi signals present at the same time. Why? Well, because we want to ensure that you as an end user don't have to worry about performance, even if you're in a room with a lot of people. Now, just to illustrate how great this room actually works, Check out what happens to this radio as I switch it on, leave the room, and close the door behind me. Vi fik eh, sagt, at postkasseselskaber var ulovlige, og at eh, hvert medlemsstat må, måtte nedlægge veto i forhold til nogle forstal- foranstaltninger af transportsektoren. Så, altså alt det, der jeg nævner. We all know what it's like when someone calls us from windy conditions. The sound is so bad, they might as well have been calling us from outer space. In our sound lab, using this machine right here, we're going to be able to simulate wind speeds of up to 15 meters per second. That allows us to rigorously test the microphone performance, as well as finding the optimal position that allows for crystal clear calls with all that wind noise filtered out. Danish interior design? In a way, yes. Welcome to the Electromagnetic Compatibility Chamber, or the EMC room, as we like to call it. In here, we test for disturbing radio signals that might be emitted from our products. And the reason that we do that is because products have to meet device-specific and international standards before they're being released into market. In here, we make sure that we go above and beyond those standards. Now, the EMC room is completely sealed from the outside world. That means in here, within these four walls, we won't get any radio frequency interference. And if you're wondering what might go into making a room like this, the materials you see on the walls here is in a combined weight of 24 tons. But what's important to note about what goes on in here is that it keeps you and me as end users safe out there. This is our reverb chamber, and it's actually the complete opposite of the anechoic chamber. Everything in here is carefully designed so that sound waves are reflected and spread out in every single direction. That means we're going to be able to hit our test equipment from every side and every angle. That means that this room is the perfect place for us to control sound as well as assessing noise cancelling technology 
that allows you as an end user to hear what you want to hear and block out the rest. So, I hope that you've enjoyed the tour of our facilities today. And I also hope that the next time you're on a call or you're listening to music on your commute or while in the gym, that you'll think about the incredible Jabra engineering that's been put into delivering a solution that gives world-class sound for calls and music. <laughs>